how it happened? Uh, it was, you know, Paul Carey pretty much set it up there, uh, carrying in the zone, drew a couple players to him, and, you know, I was able to join the rush as the second guy. And, um, you know, he made a good play. I tried to take it wide and at least get a good shot off. And, you know, it's not too often that you get a rebound off a high glove shot, but lucky enough, it was able to come right back to me and I was able to beat him to the far side of the net. You seem to have a lot of success in penalty kills. You, you especially individually, what is the key to your I was just talking to, to Doug about that. Goal. It's, you know, it's knowing when to go and when to be aggressive. And like I told him, that, you know, I'm not the biggest guy. I don't have the biggest reach, but you have to use your speed and quickness and know when to jump guys and know when to back off. And, you know, a skilled team like that, you have to be, you have to pick your spots. It's, it's probably the biggest key. So, you know, that one second where they turn their back or, you know, they lighten up on their stick, that's when you can really jump on them and hopefully create at least a battle and, you know, get our second guy in or third guy in to help out and get it clear. And talk about today's game. I mean, it was obviously a big win for you guys, but it didn't seem like either team wanted to give much on the ice. No, it was tight. I mean, aside from the the power plays, I think it was it was back and forth. It wasn't one team dominating, that was for sure. But um, you know, we had our power play chances early. They had them in the second and third, and um, you know, we had a big kill in that five on three when the game was tied. And, you know, 48 seconds. It's a Testament to you know our sentiment, our goalie, all the guys that were on the ice. So it was uh, that was a big key to the game, and just, then it's just coming down to finding a way to win.